Comfortable cattle are profitable cattle. That's why many feeders take steps to help cattle adjust to their new environment upon arrival. I think it's very important to get a good start on the cattle whenever you first receive them. We acclimate them to their new home because that's where they're going to spend a lot of their time and we make sure they see kind of all four quarters of the pen and, and know where the water's at, know where the bunk's at and just make sure they're comfortable. Less stress means more success. It improves everything from immune function to implant response. My goal is to never have to treat a calf. I want a calf to be healthy his entire life. I want him to be in a good place, to feel comfortable, to be able to express his normal herd behavior. Because when he's doing that, he's going to work for me and he's going to work for you because he's using the natural resources that I'm putting in front of him to effectively and efficiently gain and is also producing a tremendous end product that we can take and market in the grocery store. One tactic Burkholder employs is delaying the implant until a calf has settled in. So it's really important for me to acclimate that animal and get him used to the feed yard and making sure that he's in a good place nutritionally and isn't deficit in anything before I put that growth hormone in. I think not only does that allow me to use that technology without impeding the marbling of the calf, but it also allows the calf to use the growth hormone more effectively. Um, so I'm getting, getting better gains out of my cattle as well. And so we spend a lot of time making sure that when we administer those, um, it's the right time to administer them. Watching all these little details in cattle care adds up because at the end of the day, it's all about the ultimate beef buyer. So quality is number one, because that's what the consumer demands. Uh, our consumers now want a great eating experience. That's number one.